As a kid, my house had a very strange design. The house was built in the late 1980s and only had two bedrooms. Around the time of this story, me and my twin brother were nine, so about 12 years ago. Important thing to know in this story is that our house had two crawl spaces that interlock it with each other, one in the garage and one in me and my brother's room. Here's the story. It was the summer of 2012 or 11 and at the time we were living in Baltimore, Maryland. I'm not going to get into much detail about where we lived for privacy reasons, but it was on the outskirts of the city. I remember the first instance we heard noises coming from the crawl space and the noise would be the start of me and my family's worst nightmare. It was about 9 at night and if you have ever slept in the same room with a sibling, cousin or a friend, you would know how hard it is to fall asleep. I think my brother was asleep, but I couldn't tell because we had a bunk bed. Important thing to know is that my brother had a top bunk and I had the bottom bunk. Anyways, I was slowly falling asleep, but I heard a loud thump in the crawl space which was across the room next to the closet. As a little kid, I thought nothing about it because there were a lot of boxes and storage inside the crawl space. A few weeks later, I heard rustling or like an animal running across new papers or tissue paper. Those instances happened throughout a week and that's when I finally decided to tell my parents. My dad told me that he would check it out, so I thought nothing of it anymore. A day later, our dad told us he was hiring an exterminator because of a small spider infestation. Our dad sent us to our grandma's house for about two weeks while they exterminated the spiders. After the second day, our mom came to pick us up and it's about a six to five hour drive from my grandma's house, which was near South Columbus. We finally arrived at our house but to our horror, we found muddy footprints all over the house and our dad was nowhere to be seen. We called the cops and in about 10 minutes they arrived and found our dad locked in the crawl space. From what our parents told us about 3 years ago, our dad told the cops he was hiding from a man wearing our mother's wedding dress, which went missing about a month prior to these events. The police took a search around the house and found a man crawling out of our room's crawl space, heading into our bedroom's closet. He was wearing a full face of makeup and had several cuts around his body. My mom told me he was mentally ill. So if you see something, say something.